the Soul Leader, Krona and Maka. We're so glad you came. Give everybody a round of applause, please. everywhere it's really weird I don't know how to deal with this <laughs> I don't know what this means it has to do with the strange interdimensional fabric we're stuck in right now Whoa. it's no it's called con space Whoa. we're starting to run out of chairs and anyone who can still squeeze in the room within the fire code of course can lean against the walls we maybe not really Yes. Hello everybody, I'm your panel moderator. Um, if all of you could just scoot in to create any extra seats possible, that would be great. This room is going to be full. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to say that anyone who does not have a seat is going to have to be turned away to fire code shenanigans. I apologize deeply for that, but we have no control over such things. Appreciate your efforts, thank you very much. So sorry about that. This was this was our worst nightmare to have a room with too with too many people in it. Oh, I hate this. There's too many people. I mean, I love you, people. I just I wish there were more chairs. Oh no. Okay. I'm sad now. We should do something happy. Yeah. Yeah. I like to write poetry about my feelings. It helps me deal with them. It just can't be the poem that Krona wrote for us at school. No, it'll just make you feel a lot worse. Yeah. Like you've never been bored. You never want to be bored. Don't, don't do that. So before we get started, introductions are in order. We are Soul Sisters Cosplay. I'm Eka Tsukiyomi, and this is... Uptown Otaku. Hi. If you're a Soul Leader fan, you know who we are in character. I'm Maka Alabarn. And thanks again for coming today. Without further ado, we'll get started with a poetry Mad Lib. So, um, I have a poem here, and there's blanks in it of different word forms, and so um, if you raise your hand, if you have a suggestion for the word form that we call out, we'll call on you, and we'll take the word suggestion, fill in the blank, and then I'll read you guys a poem. And it's not gonna make any sense. <laughs> but that's why it's funny, I think, I hope. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... Things are falling! Okay. Okay, so... Um, does anybody have a suggestion for me for an adjective? Yes? Slimy. Slimy. That's not good. <laughs> Do we have a verb? Yes. Jumping. Jumping. Already this doesn't make sense. <laughs> a noun? Are you back there? Cemetery. I should have seen that coming. <laughs> <laughs> um, an adjective? Disgusting. Raise your hand. There you are. Disgusting? Got it. <laughs> um, And another noun? You in the front? Oh, okay. <laughs> the noun is nerd. We all know what that means here. Uh, another noun? Yes. Trash. Trash? Wow. <laughs> this feels very negative. <laughs> do you all not want to wish you'd ever been born? Is that what you're trying to do? <laughs> An adjective? Yes. Depressing. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Sometimes it's unavoidable, but we'll do our best. Um, so I need an occasion. Funeral. I do. <laughs> no. You with the hat? Birthday. Birthday. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... This is, this is awful. Adjective. That's a lot to write down. Um, lib, bob, time, wine. I'll know what it means. Um, another adjective? Yes. Happy. Happy. Thanks. 
nice. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> my son. That one's nice. Uh, a verb. Yes. Killing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> a noun. Yes. Puppy. Puppy. <laughs> I might be changing some little bits of conjugation, or making something plural to make this make a little more sense, but it's not honestly going to help very much. Um, adjective? Yes. Fluffy. Fluffy. <laughs> oh, good. We've got bad grammar in here now, too. It's great. Uh, another noun? You with the hat in the back? Pull that right? Yeah, I did. Um, can I have a verb ending in ing? A verb ing? In the back? Flying. Flying. Adjective? Yes. Purple. Purple. That what? <laughs> okay, whatever. Another adjective? Yes. Sunny, we're getting happier, I think. A uh, verb. Yes. Swimming. Swimming. Um, well, I can't write. Um, verb. Eating. No. <laughs> Someone raise their hand. Yeah. Giggling. Giggling. This, wow, okay. I'm worried. Uh, almost done. Adjective. Yes. Dead. Dead. <laughs> wow, that's one of my favorite words. You're great. <laughs> I know lots of things that are dead. <laughs> Laughter to hide real pain. <laughs> um, verb. Yes. Running. Running. Okay, noun. Yes. Ragnarok. <laughs> I don't want this here. <laughs> but I'll do it for you. Adjective? Yeah. Sparkly? Sparkly. How happy and nice. And a noun. Uh, Maka. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't 
know the rest of the words because I never met him and I've been told that I should be really glad. From the United King, I'm looking for him. I'm going to California. Yay! You probably sound better than he does. Black Star and Kid have told me so many awful stories about Excalibur you don't even know. <laughs> You know, if anybody makes me glad to have Ragnarok as a weapon, Excalibur does. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, nobody else can. Oh my <laughs> anyway, um, so to take a break from Mad Libs, we have another really awful thing to read for you. And this one is a fan fiction. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> oh, they can be bad. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not beautiful at all. Oh, I'm now, I'm what we hope has never happened, and what we hope will never ever happen, <laughs> is that the author of one of these fanfics actually comes to one of our panels. <laughs> because That's going to be embarrassing and awkward, and we're not going to have any explanation that will make it better. <laughs> so, so in our defense, we're writing critics, <laughs> and also actors with expression and performing for entertainment purposes, and also our deepest apologies if this ruins your con. That sounds feeble even to me. Okay. <laughs> um, so if we're gonna act this out, we can't really stand here with microphones because these don't really move. So we're just gonna project, because I can raise my voice if I have to. <laughs> it's a small room, it's fine. Okay. Let us know if you can't hear us, especially in the back. Do, and then we'll get louder. Gestures. I'll scream a lot, like Ragnarok does. Not, not quite like that, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, so the title of this fan fiction is Turning Red. The author shall not be named. <laughs> it wasn't us. <laughs> of the OC, since I myself make but a bit appearance in this story. She has a name. Until she's named, we shall refer to her as Mary Sue. <laughs> okay, I explained a lot. Okay. I saw her walk in. You know this is gonna be good. <laughs> she seemed really nice and was really pretty too. Of course she was. Well. This was Maka's sister. What? <laughs> we did. I have a sister? What if you. It wasn't me, doing? I swear. Maka chan, you're my only daughter, I promise. <laughs> I <laughs> hope so. It's her you have to convince, not me. Even though she seemed nice, I had That's trouble scary. handling new people, even though I was getting better at it. First, she went up and hugged Maka. Hug yourself. Like sad people. Love yourself. <laughs> Love yourself, kids. <laughs> then she went to Soul and Kid, Black Star, the twins, and Tsubaki since she knew them. And then she came to me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, you did the friend thing. <laughs> I'm scared. She smiles warmly at me. Yeah, I'd love to try that. Starting now, we are officially friends. I smile at that, and then we started the welcoming home party. Woo, party. <laughs> I found out later that she was half weapon, half Meister. Okay, wait a second. Meister is not a race. Meisters are human wielders of the weapons. It's an occupation. Science lesson with Maka, everybody. Isn't she the one that at the end of the end? Yes. <laughs> that didn't happen. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> End of the anime. What? <laughs> nah. Nah. No. 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 She was half Japanese fighting fan. Well, good is half a fan. I mean, that's, you know, that's cool, I guess. What part of her is the fan? I don't know. <laughs> She was kicked out of the DWMA because she was accused of helping a witch, but she recently was found innocent. Yeah, okay. Tragic that. backstory. Mm. She turned out to be really nice. I've said that like five times. <laughs> By the end of the night, we were best friends. <laughs> oh, <God. sighs> when we were finished with the party, I was kind of sad, because I'm a sad, Lonely person. I'm always sad about something. Do you want me to walk you home? She asked me. I shook my head. No, you're scary. Um, it's okay, I'll be fine. See you later, I hope. I smiled and we went our separate ways. Don't ever talk to me again. <laughs> about you if you left by yourself. 
love to get back home. I'm only doing this out of courtesy. I, it's not actually written there, but that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Uh, um, if I left you by your side to get home, I'd be worried. She looks at me confusedly. You don't have to if you don't want. That, that, that's me saying don't, don't. <laughs> she puts her finger to my lips. <laughs> I'd love to. <laughs> She asks, 
No, today's Sunday, stupid. <laughs> um, you're really out of it, aren't you? I ask playfully. <laughs> no! Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> she giggles. <laughs> we both laugh a while and everything gets silent. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
No, don't take anything. I'm not eating your breakfast. I call the food. Okay, I, I can't do this, Mai. I don't want to be a burden to you. Also, you're really creepy. <laughs> I say, I felt like I was going to cry. Save me. <laughs> you won't be. I like you, Krona. You're really nice, and there's no way you can ever be a burden. She says. How do you like the room? I look down and start crying. <laughs> Raise your hands. Okay. 
Maka wants an icebreaker, Maka. <laughs> you want one of us to tell you about the last time someone or something made us cry. <laughs> that fan fiction. <laughs> Somehow I think Kid will kind of win. Yeah, Kid would probably win, but... 